Hey guys, so I uh, just got back from the theater from seeing Wicked Little Letters. Uh, yeah, three movies this weekend, and luckily it's my weekend off, so two, I'll, be, I'll be seeing two tomorrow, but I only saw one tonight. Uh, it was being Wicked, like I said, Wicked Little Letters, a movie that I had no idea about its existence until about, I'll say about a month ago, when it was a Monday mystery movie at my local Regal. Um, it, I think all Regals it actually was, and like it, nationwide, they, they all just pick like random movies every, uh, for like each theater, or they they pick the same movie for every Regal. Uh, and uh, it, it was the movie selected, and I was like, what the fuck is the Wicked Little Letters? And I looked up the plot, and I looked up who was in it, and I was like, oh, all right, that's not that bad. I was like, that sounds like a pretty little fun little movie, uh, comedy. Um, I got a chance to watch the trailer, and I was like, yeah, that looks pretty funny. Um, and, uh, yeah, it was pretty good. I liked, uh, Wicked Little Letters. I thought it was a pretty solid little comedy. Um, I, I generally enjoyed it mainly for the cast of this movie. Uh, particularly Jesse Buckley, who, uh, is... Easily steals this movie. <laughs> like this is her movie. Oh, her, her and Olivia Coleman too. Uh, Olivia Coleman is awesome. This movie. Olivia Coleman is like uh, one of those actresses. Is like the more I've seen her, the more I'm a fan of hers. Like, like I, I really. I mean, she's been in small, minor roles here and there, but like she really got a lot of people's attention, including mine. With the favorite stuff like the favorite, and like I did every time I watch her, like I'm all I'm all excited when she's in a movie. And Jesse Buckley, I was like, I know I've seen that face in her in many movies. Like I was like, oh yeah, that fucking movie Men. I hated that movie, but I remember her giving a good performance out of that. Um, but uh, she was really good. So, like Jesse Buckley is like is really fucking great in this movie. You don't know what the plot of the movie is. It's a mystery, comedy, mystery, slash mystery, where it's based off a true story about, apparently, where in a small town of Britain, there's this, uh, there's somebody that keeps sending, the first it's just sending these mysterious, a mysterious person sending, sending these really vulgar letters to Olivia Coleman's character, who lives right next to Jesse Buckley, who Jesse Buckley, uh, Olivia Coleman's a little uh, more prim and proper, very uh, etiquette kind of person, uh, and a British person, while Jesse Buckley is the complete opposite, where she says fuck about every guy. I don't know, there was a, the, the word, F word was used quite a bit in this movie, including in the letters, and they read some of the letters. I, I wish I, I could have read some more of the letters, although they pretty much say about the same thing, a lot of the same things repeat a lot of the same things in those letters. And they're still pretty funny uh, when they do read the letters. Like it's, uh, Especially coming from like uh, like the dry sense of, with the dry sense of humor that this movie has. Uh, like saying this, this shit that some of those letters say is pretty fucking funny. Um, so it becomes a huge scandal and Jesse Buckley character gets immediately arrested uh, for this and is Put on trial for this. And shortly thereafter, towards halfway towards the movie, the whole town starts getting letters. Not just Olivia Coleman's character, but the whole town. And it becomes this big ass scandal. And apparently, it didn't really happen. Like, I guess that, I don't know the whole story, but yeah, like, apparently, it did happen. And like, it's, it's a movie that really placates on the fact that you got like two really solid lead actresses that, that, that carry this thing and that Olivia Coleman and Jesse Buckley are really funny. Uh and it, like this particularly the Jesse Buckley this is honestly like a really a big breakout performance in my opinion for her. Uh she's really awesome this movie. Um and uh you also got like Timothy Spall who plays Olivia Coleman's uh, dad. If you don't know who Timothy Spall is, he was the guy who 
most people recognize him as uh, Peter Pettigrew and uh, Harry Potter. Yeah, that guy. <laughs> he just looks like a rat. <laughs> like, he was perfect casted as a rat. Perfectly casted as a rat. Okay, he looks like a rat. Um, and he uh, is this. He, he's really fucking great in this movie, too. Um, they also have this subplot with the NF policemen. It's a movie about feminine, a little bit of feminist, feminism, uh, you know, dashed in there where there's this only, or one female officer on the whole police force in this little town that Nobody takes seriously. Never, nobody lets do anything that she wants to do. No, nobody, somebody that they don't like, like do any investigation. And she wants to try and investigate what's going on with these letters because she don't think that Jesse Buckley's character did it and that she's being framed for this. And uh, I pretty much guessed what the mystery, like who really did write the letters. It's pretty fucking obvious if you really sit and think about it for like two seconds. Like, Although I'm still not sure what their motive was. They don't really give that reason why why they did it. It does make you go, why the fuck did this character do that? But I don't know. And I guess that's part of the charm. I guess part of you have to try to interpret yourself. I don't know. Um... Listen, I, I do love the British's uh, dry sense of humor, and it's definitely in this fucking movie. I, like, I really enjoyed uh, some of the like, just very dry humor that they uh, use while saying some very naughty words. Um, I really love this. I, I, I like this movie a lot. I didn't love it. I liked it. Um, I give it a solid B. Um, I, recommend, I recommend it. Um, tomorrow I will be going to see The First Omen and Monkey Band. <laughs> uh, yeah, so those are the two ones I'm really looking forward to talking about. Um, until then, I'll talk to you guys later.